Hi friends, welcome to Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. Uh, today, I am with uh, Lieutenant Colonel Divakar Naidu. Sir, welcome to this show. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, today's topic is how to join armed forces because sir has got a lot of experience uh, in the military as he has worked uh, throughout uh, his life, maybe for 28 years and uh, all. Sir, just share your background. So, I am Lieutenant Colonel Divakar Naidu SK from the Maratha Regiment and uh, I had First, मतलब started my career from 12th Maratha mm. and then uh, moved to 6th Maratha and then also served in all the line of control and line of actual control plus Siachin and as well as in the desert area and to good opportunity I also served in the military intelligence. Okay. At the same time, the government of India has sent our battalion to the peacekeeping mission in which I was uh, handpicked by the top man for doing the secretary to the international NGOs who are working under the UN banner. Mm -hmm. Coming back, it was my desire where I started my career from Shumagga, so I wanted to come as commanding officer of the NC battalion. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, many youngsters uh, actually want motivation to join to the armed forces. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, what are the main factors you want to mention to motivate our youngsters? Sir, so there are two aspects. Hmm. One, getting into the Army, Air Force, Navy hmm. or paramilitary forces. They say armed forces in civilian language, they think everything is army. Mm -hmm. It is not so. Mm. Now, the army, navy, air force are the regular. Okay. And at the same time, the BSF, CRPF, CASF, this all comes under the home ministry called as a paramilitary force. Okay, okay, okay. That is one thing. Mm. Second aspect is to join the Indian Army or the Air Force or the Navy. There are two categories. Okay. One is as a commissioned officer. Second thing is as a men. We call in Hindi as Jawan. Mm. So therefore, now it's every individual has to think what he wants. Okay, okay. Let us discuss hmm. first about the Jawan. See, all branch recruitment office, all zonal recruitment office in each district hmm. coordinate the recruitment. Okay. Especially in South India, hmm. we call it as South Indian Cost, SIC. Hmm. No, especially for the Jawans, they have physical activities mm -hmm. initially and as per the age character. Okay, okay. Age is the main aspect. Okay, okay. During that particular block of the age. Uh, what was that age? Sir, it starts from the 18 onwards, 17 18, 18 point. onwards. Okay. Ah, so don't, 18. Don't forget that. Yeah. 18. Okay. So, till it goes to the 21, 22 mm. in different categories. Okay. Okay. So, that's the right time. Right time. So, once he clear all the physical test. Okay. Physical test, it may be a run. Mm. It may be the push-ups, sit-ups and the 9 feet ditch. These are all basically to know the aptitude of the individual. Okay. So, that means even uh, from the high school level, they should be mentally prepared for all this. Exactly. All of a sudden, uh, we can't do push-ups. No. <laughs> that is one thing. Okay. Second aspect is, after the physical test, hmm. they do the basic, uh, even uh, uh, the medical. Medical, not medical, okay. So, measurement of the chest, 
and C मतलब है कि any per disability or any medical element of the individual. Okay, so they have to take care of their health also. हाँ, in case if there is any serious problem, then they refer to the medical. Hmm. After that, it goes to the written examination. Okay. Earlier it was very difficult. Hmm. Now everything is available in the website, army website. So it's very easy yes. for us to prepare uh, because I think it is it in objective type. Yes, it's all so, objective yeah, type. So only we have to tick one, but exactly. we should know what exactly the answer is. Uh, so it's very they made it very. Ah, easy. for each category there are yeah. sample papers. Okay. And even the moment it is army website is opened. Ah. Then what do the criteria? Okay. And uh, how wha, wha, what physical standards they are expecting, okay. and when it is going to be happen? Everything is given. Everything is in black and white. So just visit uh, army websites. Uh, exactly. And, uh, you will get lot of information. And then hmm. practice accordingly. That's it. If they wanted eight push-ups, uh -huh. I always guide. You do twelve push-ups. <laughs> That's it. See, it's always one step ahead. So it's going to help you, sir. I've ah. given you a hint. And next is written examinations. Hmm. Take the sample papers. Good. So take the sample paper, solve it. Then you come to know the structure of the written examination. Yeah, very good, sir. You have guided uh, our people. These are basic things. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, I heard that science background also helps for uh, uh, especially Air Force and Navy. See, the question is, huh. Air Force and Navy, hmm. the overall strength is very less. Okay. The equipment which they have is very, very costly. So, technologically? Technologically. Uh, is there is an airman, is a ground airman uh -huh. or anything. So he has got an equipment which is worth of lakhs and crores. Okay, okay. One more thing, sir, I would like to say mm. in Navy, if in a ship mm. there are 100 people, the commander never meets anybody. Mm. Everything happens in communication. So that proper communication is also required here. Therefore, the knowledge of the particular equipment okay. and to use the equipment is much, much important. Okay. There is no question of the mistake. Therefore, the understanding, hmm. the science background is very much required for the Air Force and the Navy. Okay, okay. Fine, fine. Uh, sir, uh, as you have earlier mentioned about the paramilitary forces uh, like uh, BSF, CRPF and uh, CITF, uh, what are the additional criteria for all these? Sir, similar the recruitment because all these paramilitary forces comes mm -hmm. under the Home Ministry. Correct. It doesn't come under the Defence Ministry. Okay. So, they also publish in, uh, in the newspapers uh, similar what we do in the army. Maybe hmm. the criteria, the standards and the education level is lesser. Okay. That is one thing. So Second so is… So that means if they can't get into the main forces, they can always get into this. Yes, certainly. Yes, good. What an opportunity. Even the territorial army ah. which is there, so, officers they can apply from 35 years to 42 years. Oh, that's great. Huh? Ah. They can serve. Even any officer who is working in the civil, maybe government or private, if he wants, he can even apply and join. Okay, sir, if somebody wants to join as an officer, what are the criteria? Sir, as an officer, we call it as a commissioned officer. Okay. Now, there are various entries, hmm. one after 12th, one after the graduation, okay. one after the engineering okay. and one after the uh, MBBS. Okay, okay. First, let us take uh, the after 12th, hmm. we call it as NDA, hmm. National Defense Academy. Yeah. It is uh, all th three services. So, therefore, he enters uh, the written examination, similar, everything is available in the website and then after that it is a medical 
and one thing is mm. in case of officers is service selection board okay ssb ssb okay there are five days of ssb mm. now in that we begin 900 mocks about 300 each one is basically the psychological test second is a group discussion third is group task and third is a interview okay okay great great because in armed forces hmm. we don't need mundabege experts we don't need professors he has to take a decision as an officer so right or wrong and he has to live up to the decision that is why the service selection board is must okay and after that medical and then all india merit and then gets into so all india merit uh, it is like uh, entrance exam so they'll uh, announce no the, uh? what they do is after the entrance examination he gets a call letter for the service selection board okay and after that medical is done hmm. in case if there is any serious hmm. <coughs> sorry then uh, he is referred to the hospital air force command hospital mm. and then once he completed all this procedure then a all india level merit list is taken out okay, okay okay and he gets an intimation and that intimation itself is reporting to the academy and training also plays a very important role uh, in the training academy yes uh, can you just share how the training uh, so will be so training whether it is army navy or air force mm. the specialization training mm. is done after the immediate passing out okay okay okay, okay. whereas the basic training mm. is given to all three people mm. first of all turning up of the body okay turning up of the mind ah. and he understands from the beginning the entire arm structure okay so these are the main important mm -hmm. mm -hmm. see the question is the body is like this the moment he enters the academy the graph goes down and after second week the grass comes to the zero level mm. and third only starts moving up so therefore that basic training and basic aptitude and as well as basic the structural analysis has to be understood by the officer because officer is not an individual he is a commanding he is a leader of uh, so and many people he cannot go wrong because the lives of the so many people are behind him yes so therefore that is why the training is so harsh yes they say ah. more you bleed here le so less more you sweat here less you bleed in the war yes that's the greatest statement uh, in fact i have done few videos on the same topic uh, so we have to sweat sweat more uh, so that we can't bleed <laughs> correct 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 uh, yes uh, uh, friends i request our uh, friend uh, lieutenant colonel divakar naidu Uh, to reveal his mobile number so that you can directly call to him for any of his uh, any of the queries because he has uh, selected that as a uh, through karma bhumi foundation he wants to guide people like you yes sir please sir my number is 88487034 this is the only one number which has whatsapp and everything you can call any time for the guidance thank you okay so just reach uh, lieutenant colonel divakar naidu i wish you all the best sir thank you very much thank you sir thank you